Yo metalheads, today is day 222 of the video challenge and we are building some excavators. This video is part 6 of a 12 part series detailing the build of our diggers. At the end of the last video, I started using the tap and die set to clean the threads on all the different parts. This is a time consuming but necessary step. Heating up nuts and bolts by welding them can create some abnormalities that will cause issues in the future. Sometimes they warp or get some weld on the threads themselves. If that happens, and you start assembling them, they can get stuck to the point where the only way to fix it is to replace the part. This has happened more than once, and every time I roll the dice and shoot my shot, it bites me. I grind both sides of the tracks flat, it gives a cool appearance as long as the welds are consistent, and it allows the piece to sit flat on whatever surface you put it on. Fun fact, most excavators have a cab that can rotate 360 degrees, allowing operators to work in any direction without repositioning the machine. This feature greatly increases efficiency and reduces the time needed to complete tasks. Join us at the 2024 Harford Fair from August in 12th to 17th at the Harford Fairgrounds in New Milford, PA. Follow us on social media through linktree.com Metal Relic and stay tuned for our upcoming giveaways. Your support means everything. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate you.